Did you also use paint brushes for panel lining up until now? This DSpy panel liner tool wants to replace the paintbrush. Let's find out if that really works in the next five minutes. So my usual technique for painting panel lines was to take a mix of a self-made oil wash, dip the brush in it and go into the panel line. And the wash will flow into the recess by itself. For that you of course need a brush that is fine enough to hit in the recess without painting over the edges and leave brush marks around the panel lines. And that requires a very steady hand. The DSpy panel liner tool promises a better and more precise controllability without creating any overflow. I bought the pen on AliExpress with three spare nibs for 15 bucks. A link is in the description. The pen is made of aluminum, comes with a threaded cap and has a really nice quality. The nibs are just stuck into the pen, so basically the pen is just a nib holder. When ordering, I actually thought this thing works like a fountain pen, where you put the wash inside a reservoir in the pan, but it works like an old school dip pan. So you have to dip the nib in your ink or wash. The nib has a flexible tine and when you push down on the nib, the tines flex out a bit, which releases the color. So I guess any other dip pan for artists that are used to do calligraphy with similar nibs should do the same trick. I tried it first on this sheet of paper and you can see that you can control the thickness and amount of paint by how much force you apply. But it's way less sensitive than a paintbrush, so it's not difficult to paint a line of even thickness. I also feel that the amount of paint the panel liner holds is way more than your paintbrush, so you can paint more before you need to dip it back in the color. But I'd say that's not really an important advantage in terms of usability. Now let's see how this thing performs on an actual 3D printed part. For that I'm using a couple of print fails that I painted with a water-based acrylic color. The upper part is clear coated, the lower part not, so we can test if the metal nib scratches the paint. And I have to say the feeling and sound of the metal on the pure paint does hurt a bit. And you can definitely scratch the unvarnished but also the varnished side when you apply a bit of force. Even without force applied, you can see tiny marks on the unvarnished side. Here I even managed to strip away a thin string of paint. But if you paint in the panel line, where you usually take darker paints anyway, this shouldn't really matter much. Now we're dipping the nib in the oil wash to start panel lining. If you want to know how you can easily make oil washes yourself, check out the video linked in the info box. In the beginning I struggled a bit to get the wash in the recess. You do need to hold it at a slight angle for the nib to spread and release the color. But once you have that figured out, it's really fast and really does make it a bit easier to get clean lines from the beginning compared to the brush. The good thing about oil washes though is that you can easily wipe away any overspill without leaving any marks. So the end result can look just as good with the brush. What works really great though is when you don't have a recess but an edge that you can use as a guidance to paint a perfectly even stripe. That's way easier than when you would need to use a paintbrush. I also tried it with a DIY water-based acrylic wash where I just added distilled water with a drop of black and later also added a spritz of alcohol for less surface tension, but that still didn't work well. So I think an oil wash seems to be the way to go. When you're done painting, you just need two drops of white spirit if you do it with an oil wash and a Q-tip and in five seconds the nib is as clean as new. All in all, I'm not really sure yet whether I will use this pen that frequently in the future or whether I will end up using the paintbrush anyway. But if you have a shaky hand, it might be something for you. Let me know in the comments what you think of this concept and maybe you already have some experience to share as well. And I'll see you in the next video.